Hey y'all, welcome back to Homestead in the City. I'm Zach, and today we're going on a tour of my garden. All right, so first off, right along the uh, patio edge here, we have our garden boxes. And that is a mix of earth boxes and this uh, wooden box that I found under the house. We don't have too much growing in there. Um, I'm trying to get some carrots growing in one of the earth boxes over here and then I do have some carrots going to seed from last year in the other earth box um, and then we've also got I think a little bit of cilantro in here and some garlic but those will eventually um, probably be more like garden herbs and stuff then of course right beside the patio we've got our massive hickory trees and the bottom of one of them is like in the patio bricks. And so around that, I'm trying to grow some uh, different garlic and lemongrass and other things that'll help cut down on the pest pressure. And then where Percy is digging, along the side of the patio is like an old raised bed that we're gonna dig out and do something cool with later, but I'll talk about that in a different video. Stepping right off the patio, you are immediately in our fruit orchard area. And that doesn't look like a whole lot right now because we are just establishing it. Um, and we've got seven little rows. Right now it's mostly just um, some beans and other sprouts that are just kind of building some soil, putting organic material in there but we do have in this one some uh, little blueberries that are coming in they will focus and so that's the first uh, blueberries I don't know how well they, they will uh, do then in this pot right here I do have some strawberry and elderberry and garlic and then you can kind of see these little tripods that I have all over this area. These I just use some sticks from where the power company cut down the trees and some old socks that had holes in it. So I just kind of use those to make some trellises around here and then we will grow like the beans and gourds and stuff on those trellises around here and that in part will help provide some shade on this southern wall of the house um, and then one other thing I wanted to check out here in the uh, fruit orchard area is our peach tree and so that's the other uh, plant that we brought in and have put in here so far and everything else has been um, most of the natives. This is an elderberry, I think, from somewhere else in the yard. But yeah, so that's the uh, orchard area. And then at the bottom of the hill, with the orchard area, we have our future greenhouse area. And that I've just kind of marked out with some bricks. You can see we've got some uh, old windows in there with some of our seedlings. Just kind of testing out what this uh, will look like one day. And then of course over here, we've got one of my favorites, our frog fountain pond. Um, so this is our fountain that was filled in when we moved in. We dug it out, patched it up, and um, now we use it for growing some plants, um, other potted plants I bring here and just kind of put on the edge. They get a little bit of that misting, um, I don't know if you can really see it coming off the fountain, but we get a little bit of splatter onto the edge, and so that can help water some of the other plants that I bring in. And then, we really like it because, oh, I think we may have just missed it. And so the frogs can help uh, cut down on our mosquito populations, but they tend to go in hiding whenever we come around. 
Anyway, so the uh, the fountain is kind of at the back corner of the yard, and you can see from this angle we've got the um, fruit orchard area there. And then if we start going more towards the back of the yard, we have our food forest area, and so that is going to be more of the wild area um, where we have different trees and bushes that are going to be coming in right now. I can see some uh, loquat in there, some bronze fennel, we've got a few other things. But then on the back side of that, right beside the uh, frog pond, we have our future chicken run area. So this area I've made also with a lot of the trees that were along the back line and stuff that either was cut or would have been cut by the power company as they were coming through. And so I used some of it and just decided to weave it together and make what's called a waddle fencing. So I used some of that to separate that orchard and food forest area from this very back part. And then I also bent the trees that were here, bent them over and have made an arch. And so now we're starting to get this tunnel. And so the chickens will put a uh, coop kind of up at the end, back up at the end here we'll put a coop and then they'll be able to uh, run through here have protection from the predators um, and then just be kept in and as uh, we grow more things along these fences um, that'll just get more um, kind of covered up and more solidified there. So let's talk a little bit more about the fountain though and its bigger role in the rainwater system. So the fountain isn't just used to water the plants, it is also part of the bigger system that holds all of our rainwater. And so that system it is a loop, so it doesn't necessarily start at any one place, but here is where the water comes from the gutters into our rain barrel. And then from the rain barrel, we go underground and we drain into the fountain pond. And so that has a little float valve so that the fountain pond will not overflow. Um, but then while this is continually filling, the pond is also continuously draining through this valve. So this valve goes underground all the way downhill to this pond and it drains out right there. So this pond is continuously filling from the fountain and then there's a pump down at the bottom of this pond that is then filling up or running into this gutter. And then there are a few things in the gutter that we're gonna try to see if they will grow kind of hydroponically. And uh, so yeah, so it makes one big loop. If I can focus makes one big loop through the system and uh, eventually we may add on some more. Percy, are you my garden helper? Or do you get in the way? And then stepping back from our frog pond, we go downhill down that uh, rain garden uh, on the side where I still I just don't have much this year we'll see I do have um, my muscadine has come in pretty well and I've even got some right there that I'm gonna try to grow 
all along this wall. So, we'll see. Other than that, don't have much going on here. Now, stepping into the front yard. This is a lot different from last spring. All right, so this area kind of near the uh, gate, I don't have too much of a use for it yet. I have added a few different herbs in there. Um, we'll see if they go. I think I have some fig tree in there as well. Um, and then kind of along this path right here, I just have this elderberry. That was already here when we moved in, so I'm kind of leaving him. But along the side of the yard, I've added in two of the bananas, one right there and one right there that we got from our neighbor Sue. And so we're going to see how that does. This is kind of the downhill section of the yard. So hopefully any nutrients that are rolling downhill um, will concentrate here at the bananas and help them do okay. So we'll see about that. And then of course you can see here we've got our pallet raised beds. Um, right now I have some, I think Brussels sprouts in one bed, some radishes in another, and some garlic in the uh, other two is about it. But right now they're just kind of building up some soil. Now the raised beds are right behind the tree line, which now we have a pond down at the lowest level, which has a not uh, great functioning solar pump. We're gonna have to get something else in there. But we've just put a lot of different um, onions and garlics and mints around the edge of the pond to try to help with the uh, predator control. Not predator, mosquitoes, whatever you call that, pest control. And um, so of course this is that front area where the trees were dumped and we've been building up mulch. And I'm just gonna come out kind of this way so you can see the, the water main that was right here was level, um, like that was the level of the yard. And we have just continued to build it up with multiple chip drops so that we've now got several feet of uh, mulch in some sections. So that's just gonna be um, still breaking down building some great compost that um, we may leave in place we may put on some other beds um, but then right around this tree in the middle we've got a few things that are kind of growing in the ground um, and that is some of the herbs and stuff that I got from our friends at Doco Farm in Blythewood then of course right along the edge of the driveway we've got our in-ground beds and those guys right now have nothing in them um, but they do have a few bean sprouts that are coming up and then they do have corn seeds as well that will pop up but right now we're just coming out of winter so not too much to show and then of course on the other side of that front path is Kara's flower garden and we've had a lot of the uh, purple flowers have come up so far. She's got, I think, an iris right here. Is that an iris or a tulip? And uh, these are some, some of the hyacinths. So, she's got a lot more in there. And then, of course, we have our lovely azalea, which is about done for the season but that put off a ton of good flowers we're trying to propagate that out more um, and then oh one last thing our berry hedge so this also is uh, not too much to look at right now it's just um, some more of that wattle fencing that I built by weaving together some of the branches that I had trimmed down um, and then just piling a bunch of mulch in here. This is what eventually we will kind of select different berries to plant along in here. 
um, but for right now just trying to get anything to grow in it I think I have some different uh, beans and peas and flowers that I'll try to get going this year that's all we've got for today if you want to see more of the garden and to see what we're doing in the kitchen with some of these vegetables go over to our website homesteadinthecity.com or hitc.city that's hitc.city